Ty, you, you've been here with Cody. What made him the right guy to be the block O and be a captain this year? Um, I think he just represents everything that Ohio State has to offer. I mean, he's a great guy. I mean, he works hard, just as hard on the field as he does off the field. So everything he does is preparation to just lead to be a, the leader of the defense and the leader of the team. How about you personally? How do you feel like you've been able to step up as a leader this year? Um, just being able to share my experience. I think being an older guy, a lot of the younger guys look up to the older guys. So just being able to just share my experience and be able to teach younger guys and pass off wisdom that I have makes me a better player. So it helps me be a better leader. Last time we talked to Larry Johnson about you, he called you a sleeping giant. How do you feel that term applies to you? Uh, I think it applies to me just pretty much just because I don't like I don't talk too much, but I just let my play do what it does. So I don't have to say much, but I'm going to have you feel me while I'm on the field. What is it about the Hamilton brothers that don't talk much but let their play do the talking for them? Where does that come from? Um, I think it just comes from just demeanor, just, you know, talking a lot. to really mess up what's going on in technique and stuff like that. So being able to just hone in and be able to play and then doing less talking and let your play makes you feel how people have a bigger impact on what you see. What's the best advice you ever got from your big brother? Older brother. Um, bigger. Yeah, basically, pretty much just like saying, just enjoy the days. I mean, you know, every day is not promised, you know, it could be over in an instant. So, being able to take myself on the field every single day and enjoy every single day, no matter how hard it is or in pain I am, just going and saying that I'm here and these days are excellent. You know, I'm going to ask you this a couple of times in the last couple of years, but why is it that y'all came on not late, but y'all weren't? Um, I think we just got a lot of talented guys here. So I mean it's hard to be on the field, like it's hard to understand like being here all the time with great players, you know, sometimes it doesn't turn out the way you want, but just being able to understand that your time is coming. So when, when I got my time to be able to take advantage of it, fully understand. So now now that I'm here, I'm just being able to fully understand and take time, really take the reps for serious, not take it for granted. Is that the biggest difference between between you now and three years ago, I mean, the, just the total understanding, the confidence, how would you describe it? Yeah, it definitely comes with confidence. So like I said before, like experience comes with confidence. So being out there and knowing exactly what I'm going to do and knowing what my opponent's going to do that allows me to play better and play faster. Do you and Ty Leak have uh, any kind of nickname, like the two ties, the ties have it, Ty squared? Uh, I like to call us the TNT. So the I mean, TNT? Like, yeah, TNT. So we're out there, we call each other TNT. So it's like an explosion every time we're on the field. You know what's, the AC what's he primed for this year, you think? I'm sorry, repeat. What's he primed for this year, Tully? Um, you know, Tully's a good player, so I mean, he can he can be the stars and limits for him. So just being out there, he's gonna make it make a play every time he's out there. You know the ACDC song, right? TNT. I have not. I haven't heard that. Oh, one. you gotta listen to it. That's I'm gonna have to. Yes. That'll be your theme. Yes. Uh, how, what stood out about Tegra Shabola at guard? You know, he's a great player. You know, he's a big, he's a bigger size guy. So him being in the inside just made a really good pass, low weight block. I mean, it's hard to. Hard to put the bigger guys, it's hard to lock them out. So having a lot of weight and be able to move that fast is pretty good for him. How exciting is it to have Tyleek and Jack and JT all back and be a part of such an experienced defensive line? Um, it's, it's no better feeling. I mean, be able to have these guys for the past three, four years, I mean, there's nothing like it. So we got all the chemistry that you can have out there. So we're playing for each other every step of the down, and that's what makes the difference being out there versus playing with someone that's, that's newer. What are your expectations for this defensive line? What makes a successful season for you guys? Um, just being the best defensive line that we could be, man. We want to be a number one, so that's the spot we're reaching for every day. Like Coach Jay says all the time, we're trying to reach the summit, so that's what we're trying to do every single day, climb that mountain and be at the top. What's the toughest part about climbing the mountain? Um, it's just being consistent. I mean, every time we can, like, if we lose a game, this is over for us. So we got to be consistent every single day. We can't have bad days, so we can't falter. When, when things get hard, we have to do excellent every single day. When we talked to you in the spring, you were talking about trying to improve your pass rush. Mm -hmm. What do you feel like you are there? Uh, I think it's improved a lot. I mean, just being with Coach Jay, I mean, it's one of the things that we worked on a lot every single day. You know, pass rush drills, any type of things that work off from outside to inside. So I think just doing that every single day, repetition, it really makes it better on the inside. Ty, what's, what was the biggest thing you learned about yourself last year as an offensive tackle? Um, I think this is longevity. I mean, understanding that we could be out there for as many games as we can. Uh, this year being 17 games, I mean, I could be out there and I could be a difference maker from the beginning of the season all the way to the end of the season. What adjustments did you make maybe conditioning-wise to get ready for a longer schedule this year? 
Um, I think, like I said, we do, like, over the off season, we do a lot of running and stuff like that. Just being able to make sure that I'm pushing myself extra. So, I mean, even if we do a certain amount of conditioning, just do a couple more reps just to make sure that during the end of the season, like, I'm ready to play those plays. Right. What's the difference in doing against this offensive line now versus a year ago? Is it just experience and probably stronger? What makes them better as a group? Because it seems like the, the competitions that we saw in practice were a little bit more even than they were last year. Yeah, I think it definitely comes with a lot of experience. I mean, these guys coming back after playing a full season, I mean, they learn a lot of things. So coming back this year, I mean, they have a more complete group together. They played with each other last year, so they're more glued together. So, I mean, it's going to be harder to go against these guys when they're going against each other, when, they're, when they have their experience, they play for each other, and then, so it's harder to go against them. Is there any... Two more questions. Him coming in playing center and Carson starting here for ball what have you noticed that makes Seth, uh, you know, that level of player that he should be able to come in here and be a team star? I mean, Seth's very a technical guy. You know, he's very smart. So when he's out there on the field, he's looking to get any advantage over any of the D linemen that he can. And that's what makes him a good player. It's like when he's out there, he's trying to find your weakness. And when he gets that weakness, that's when you take advantage of him. Is there any one of those last offensive linemen who's been tougher to go around this year a lot more than last year? You know, I think all the offensive linemen has been pretty hard to go against. I mean, it hasn't been a certain person to stand out. I mean, they're all growing each and every day. So, I mean, it's, it's good to see going out there, going against good on good. It's good to see. All right, Ty, thank you. All right, thank, thank you. you.